What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is the August 2021 Newark Liberty International Airport update. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off here at gate S1 or C01, we have this Lufthansa A350-900. He just came in from Munich and tomorrow morning he's going to be heading out on a special charter flight out to Luca Malta. Now I actually did see this uh, on Flight Radar 24 which is why I'm saying it's going out to Luca Malta. I don't know why uh, Lufthansa is charting their A350 from Newark to Malta, uh, that's beyond me but uh, yeah. Uh, he came in from Munich, and tomorrow morning, once again, he's heading out to Luca Malta. Here at gate S3, or Sierra 3, we have this Air India 787-8 Dreamliner. This is in their Mahatma Gandhi livery. Earlier today, he came in from Mumbai, and later today, he'll be heading out to New Delhi. Next to the Air India 787-8 Dreamliner, we have this United 777-300ER in the new livery at gate S4, or Sierra 4. He came in from Athens earlier today, and later today, he'll be heading out to London Heathrow. Here at gate S10 or Sierra 10, we have this United Express Embraer ERJ-175. This is in their old slash continental livery. Earlier today, he came in from Key West, and later today, he'll be heading out to New Orleans. Moving on to the other side of the airport, we have this United 787-10 Dreamliner. This is in their Blue Evolution slash new livery. He's pulling in from his flight from Frankfurt, and later today, he'll be heading out on a fully booked flight out to Los Angeles. Next to the United 787-10 Dreamliner in the Blue Evolution livery, we have this Lufthansa 8300. This is in their new livery. He pulled in from his flight from Frankfurt earlier today, and later today, he'll be heading out for his normal scheduled flight back out to Frankfurt. This will be the last A330 flight on Lufthansa going to Newark for about the next few months, going till around late October. This is because uh, this is actually peak demand. Uh, the next few months will be peak demand up until late October for Lufthansa to fly to the New York area. So this will be replaced by a Lufthansa 747-8 Dreamliner up until uh, late October when it will revert back to A330 service. Moving on to the regional stands, we have this United 737-800. This is in their Blue Evolution slash new livery. Earlier today, he came in from Charleston, and later today, he'll be heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Sitting just a few stands away from the United 737-800 in their Blue Evolution livery, we have this United A319. This is also in their Blue Evolution livery. He just pulled in from a flight from Bozeman, and later today, he'll be loading up passengers for a flight out to Montrose. Pulling out of gate S17 or Sierra 17, we have this Alaska honoring those who serve 737-800. Earlier today, he came in from Seattle and now he's pushing back for a normal flight out to LAX. Next to the Alaska honoring those who serve 737-800, we have this Spirit AC-20 Neo. This is in their bananas livery. Earlier today, he pulled in from a flight from Las Vegas McCarran International Airport, and now he's loading up passengers for flight out to Fort Myers. Stuck behind all the traffic is this United 737-700. This is in their Blue Evolution slash new livery. He's waiting for all of the traffic to clear before heading out to Guatemala City after earlier today coming in from Santiago de los Caballeros. Moving to the opposite side of the mainline slash regional stands, we have this Delta Connection CRJ900. This is in their normal livery. Earlier today, he came in from Cincinnati and later this evening, he'll be heading out back out on his return to Cincinnati. Next to the Delta Connection CRJ900, we have this United 757-200. This is in their Her Art Here New York, New Jersey livery. Earlier today, he came in from Reykjavik Keflavik International Airport, and later today, he'll be loading up passengers for a normal flight out to LAX. Next to the United 752, we have this United Star Alliance 737-800. This is in their, well, Star Alliance livery. Earlier today, he came in from Miami, and later today, he'll be loading up passengers for a flight out to Boston. 
Here at gate S27 or Sierra 27, we have this Delta 737-800. This is in their normal livery. Earlier today, he came in from Salt Lake City, and later today, he'll be heading out to Atlanta. This is the last Delta 737-800 flight out to Atlanta for quite a long time, as it will be operated by the 737-900 for about the rest of the year, up until January, when it will revert back to 737-800 service. Waiting for this United 787-9 Dreamliner taxi is this United Eco Sky 737-900ER. He's heading out for a flight out to San Francisco after earlier today coming in from Salt Lake City. Here on the taxiway, we have this United 787-9 Dreamliner. This is in their Blue Evolution slash New Livery. He's taxiing out for a flight out to Johannesburg after earlier today, coming in from Sao Paulo. Moving on to the cargo stand, starting off here, we have this USAF C-17 Globemaster 3 and the Dover Tail Flash. He's at gate C-3 or Charlie 3. He pulled in from a flight from Ramstein Air Base. Right now he's carrying PPE that's being offloaded. And after this, he's going to be heading out to his base at Dover. Here at Cargo Stand C2 or Charlie 2, we have this Cargo Jet 767-300F. Earlier today, he came in from Hamilton, Bermuda, and in around two days from now, he'll be loading up cargo for flight out to Halifax. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn that notification bell, and drop a comment down below what you guys thought of this airport update and what I should improve in my videos. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye. Blue Evolution Snash New Snash? Snash? Okay, take it from the top.